Hey, I'm Aileen. Welcome to my channel, a place to make art and feel empowered. I think I just started to realize like I'm holding on to a lot of weird feelings regarding like money and things in my apartment. So today I want to share with you guys a little bit of my immigrant experience as I show you my workspace. So recently I started to realize like I'm very frugal when it comes to just like buying things and I think I shared this in my, one of my last videos I always have the feeling that I'm gonna move away and that I need to have the least amount of things possible around me so that I can just quickly pack up and leave and as I have been realizing like that's no longer the case therefore I can have a beautiful apartment and a beautiful workspace without constantly feeling like I'm gonna move away and so that's why I decided to invest a little bit in like just leveling up my workspace just a little bit by getting a cool easel and just rearranging the furniture around my place okay if you guys remember my previous videos my old easel was eight dollars and I got it at the Salvation Army and there's nothing wrong with having like an eight dollar easel it was actually really it actually lasted me a long time, lasted me like five, four or five years. It was starting to be really loose and like just make a lot of noise when I was painting. And yeah, anyway, I decided to number one, kind of spoil myself in a way um, because I have been now painting for seven or six years. And like I was mentioning, it feels like I'm spoiling myself, but I'm not spoiling myself, I'm just buying nice things for myself okay so let's start with my desk i've had this desk for like seven years now and it's from ikea with a glass top which in retrospect turned out to be a really good idea because it's now easy to clean the paint of my desk i also got this little drawer where i'm like have all these like journaling supplies and like office supplies i'm starting to collect now like more collage images because the bullet journal has really got me to like collaging again which is why also i have markers yeah i'm really getting into the bullet journal it's actually really helping me like keep track of like productivity and things like that um because it's really hard for me to like be very disciplined about work <laughs> but when it, when i make it like more artistic then it like becomes fun so yeah anyway i decided to buy this like green cabinet container thing and just give it like a special corner in my area because before i had all like my old supplies from school like in a closet and then i never went into the closet um and i had it in like old plastic bins which are ugly so i didn't want to like anyone to see my ugly bins yeah whatever <laughs> and i started thinking about how realizing really that for a my entire life, I guess I've been giving myself the bare minimum and I think this relates a lot to the fact that I'm an immigrant and just like things that I and my family went through and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my experience as an immigrant because as I started cleaning up my studio, it brought up all these ideas of like money and how I relate to it so I just want to share a little bit about it but let me show you around. Yeah, I also got this cart so I can free up my desk and I can quickly like use the desk as a workspace obviously because <laughs> before I had like my paints on top of my desk and it would take a lot of surface area I started really thinking about all these issues and it's like where do these things, where do these weird thoughts come from? And for me it comes from two places and it's kind of related to being an immigrant. Because I've moved around so many times like I said, I always have like that thought that I'm not gonna be here for long. And that's like a low-key kind of like a weird trauma almost, like it's kind of a weird thought to be constantly be having. And again it comes from me moving around. And then I also have like similar thoughts 
related to my family so i've told you guys in old, very old videos that my family was also like are also immigrants they most of my family comes from nicaragua and my mom moved to costa rica and during that time there was a civil war in nicaragua so most of my family started moving to the us which is why eventually i joined them as well but what happened to my grandpa and my grandma is that they actually had a few businesses in their little town and they were doing well but all their money was invested in their businesses and when the civil war broke out rebels came into the city took hold of the city put everybody in a church and when they came out like a day later or something hours later everything in their home and in their businesses was destroyed and was like stepped on with mud so my family carries like a feelings that at any moment they could lose things as well like my grandma does this a lot she saves like every little like tupperware container and like i always make fun of them for stuff like that but it's actually like those are traumatic thoughts that they're still holding on to as well and uh, yeah i've just been thinking a lot about how as an immigrant your experience has so much trauma because when you come to a new country you experience culture shock and of course like life is not as you always knew it obviously but there's like an adjustment period and depending on where you're living how old you are how much of the language you know the trauma is going to be different for me it was very weird that i didn't really have enough english to communicate with other people because that meant my personality went out the window as well you don't realize how much of your language is you like your humor your intelligence your, just your ability to talk to other people how much is that is tied to a language and when you don't have a language to communicate you also don't have your personality as available to show to other people and so for me culture shock came in that sense like i had a hard time knowing who i was anymore because i couldn't communicate it through words or through language and yeah like i said mostly feelings of like I'm not gonna be here for long, I'm gonna move around soon, I shouldn't hang on to things and I actually tend to not get myself like really nice things because I feel like I'm just gonna leave them behind like I remember being a kid and putting all my toys in a box and knowing like I'm never gonna see them again I don't know, do you guys have like any other feelings in you? I feel like when we notice really weird stuff about ourselves, I used to actually get really depressed about it and think there's something wrong with me. But now when I encounter like weird thoughts like that, I feel like it, the fact that you're identifying them is actually a positive. And because you're identifying your weird thoughts and like, I like the, the phrase limiting beliefs because you believe in them but they're limiting you. So I like, I like calling them that, limiting beliefs. When you identify them, you can, of course, try to address them and move beyond them. And that's why I went ahead and like got myself like an easel and stuff because I tend to feel really bad about... I don't want to partake too much in like consumer culture, but because I don't think that there is happiness in buying things necessarily. But as human beings, like experiencing beauty is i feel like a need like a more superficial need of course but i think it definitely does have an effect on your psychology and yeah just your well-being anyways i just wanted to share with you that small thought just in case you have had like weird realizations about how you carry yourself in the world maybe you've been realizing like what small ways you don't give enough love to yourself we're so lucky now to live in a time in history when we can tell ourselves that it's okay to love ourselves. I feel like our parents didn't grow up with that. They grew up watching three channels, maybe one or two newspapers, and that was the truth. And if an advertisement wants you to buy like stuff for your hair, of course they're gonna tell you like your hair is ugly. The greatest gift of our generation is that we can actually choose what's, what messages we listen to. So if you're anything like me and you've been wanting to like show yourself more, more love, Maybe it's like these small steps that can teach us where, where our like areas in our lives are more easy to target and then we can start treating ourselves better and just do small gestures to ourselves. But yeah, for me, I just realized that there's nothing really stopping me from having a nicer work area 
other than just like weird ideas in my head because you guys know I have a full-time job it's not like I went into debt to buy anything you know I didn't buy like I didn't even buy them a much like expensive stuff because of course I'm telling you I'm frugal <laughs> Anyway, I think you know what I mean. Even if it's something so dumb as redecorating your room, that's gonna help you feel a little bit better. Maybe that's what you need. Anyway, thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe to continue talking about world domination. And follow me on Instagram. Make sure you watch all my other videos. Let me know what you're thinking about my new editing style. I'm trying to make better videos, you guys. I'm trying to level up. I think I finally have an idea of like what I want to do with my channel. And I'm finally starting to like do it. <laughs> but yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you.